Eu realmente não tenho nada para dizer, olha, siga. What's up guys, it's Kirchner Zavido and uh, well, I'm back, let's keep going, huh? shall we? So today I received a message from... Mr. Kenobi and the question is, what would happen if every human brain will reboot at the same time? Before I reply to this question, I just want to let you know that I'm not a scientist. <laughs> Far from that, if you want something more into science, I will advise you to go to the Vsauce. They are a great channel. Um, but I will only give you my opinion about it. Just with a little bit of research, to not sound so silly, about this subject. So the only thing I'm going to explain to you is how I believe that would happen. First of all, brain reboots actually kind of happen uh, when a brain reboot that means it crashed this happened and I read to uh, a, a link that I put on the description below so when the brain crash it means that when somebody have a seizure basically if every human brain will crash at the same time we will have a worldwide tectonic party I can't believe I just say that Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's suppose the question was directed to not a brain crash as a reboot, but if the brain actually as a computer format, clean everything up, all you know, all your knowledge, all your memory, everything is wiped out. We're talking about uh, getting back to our, our animal state. Now the observation I like to make it's how uh, the population will behave towards that. Of course I know we evolved from apps but we don't have the same strength and uh, survival instinct skill as them. And we need to think that human beings is extremely independent to his own technology which is a big disadvantage us. Of course, after the, the beginning of the reboot, we can say that a lot of people are gonna die. A lot. Plane crash, car crash, um, um, nuclear center without maintenance, they will just blow up. Well, a lot of things, you know, that people don't have in control and they will just kaput. Now, that's my own opinion, maybe, uh, of course, I can be extremely wrong, um, but I believe between men and women, I believe the women will have more uh, survival instincts. So the man, of course, uh, is more like a hunter, so this, they, they hunt, um, not like a sport, but for survival, of course, but they try really to focus on their own survival to be able to see the next day. Women, on the other hand, they have the mother uh, instinct. So they have the instinct not only to survive, but to protect too. So between survival and protection, I believe the protection is more powerful because it gives you more uh, real strength to survive. And if you've involved uh, a child or a newborn baby that you need to protect, believe me, if by animal instincts, you will easily give your life for it, so I think the women have more decency than men. Again, again, just saying that's my opinion and can be wrong. Uh, that's my blog, I do whatever I want, so... Mm. So we are animals. Uh, no more... So we are animals. No more religion, economy, uh, society. No more rules. So, it's like the wild, we can say that. So the rule of the strongest will be the basic rule from now on, we can say that. So the human being will live with their own basic need, which is eat, sleep, and mate. So those people who live in a big city, uh, they will probably um, run out of food really quickly because there's no more uh, transportation from places uh, in uh, outside town so they can bring more food then they will probably go back 
into the wild where they can find uh, food, mm, vegetable, anything we can find and water. Of course, as I'm saying, this episode is pretty special. Uh, I don't have any knowledge on this field. I just read some articles and books, but it's not enough to consider myself that I can actually manage. But that's the question that show up and I thought it was a pretty interesting question. And those are my thoughts how I believe that could happen if we go back to our animal states from scratch everyone work at the same time so that's my time uh, before I shut this down check uh, this channel of this guy Nobuyuki he belongs to a rap group if you like hip-hop music something like that check this out he come from the group called Bridge so check them out they're pretty cool um, so if you have any questions, subject matters for you, uh, leave all your questions, your comments on my social media, all right? You have YouTube in the comment section below, Facebook and Gmail, all right? So that's my time. My name is Koji Zevido, and I will see you next time. Ciao! So people don't forget the previous video, uh, subscribe uh, the guy that borrowed me his camera. The music. Uh, so before, <laughs> okay, before I finished, I have a little message for somebody really special. They are a couple. Nuno uh, e Marina. Is it for you? Marina, parabéns. Obrigado por trazer mais uma pessoa da nossa família. Vai ser fixe. Nuno, não esquece que isto não é um jogo. Tenta fazer as coisas direitinhos a primeira vez, está bem? Nada de preguiça. Precisa educar ela bem. Beijinhos a vocês. E vamos a isto. Ah, não, não vamos. Dona Marina, muitos parabéns, fico muito feliz pela Emma e eu quero realmente que isso resulte e tenho que trazer mais pressa possível cá a casa que eu queria mesmo ver, pude conhecer a pequenita, por isso muitos parabéns, fico mesmo feliz por vocês, ok? Grande abraço, beijinhos e me dá um grande abraço para mim e para a Emma, ok? Nuno e Marina, muitos parabéns pelo, pela pequenina que vocês conceberam. Nunca pensei que fosse possível, Nuno, mas ganhaste a corrida. É? Parabéns, é? que tal? Uh, Marina, parabéns pelo esforço de conseguires ter uma criança e trazeres uma coisa tão bonita ao mundo. Vocês os dois estão muitos parabéns naquilo que me diz respeito e felicidades para vocês os dois, do fundo do coração, sinceramente. Sejam muito felizes. Parabéns, Emma, parabéns aos papás. E quando fores crescida, gira e boa, espero que vejas este vídeo e que os teus pais tenham comprado uma arma. Mas vamos ser bem. Mas sexy. <risos> Tchau. Olá, Nuno. Olá, Marina. Olá, Olá Emma. Emma. Queríamos só mandar um beijinho de felicidades aos dois e à Emma que vem aí que tenha uma vida muito boa. Um beijinho grande e felicidades. Beijinho para os três. Quero que corra tudo muito bem. Fazem aqui os três muita falta. Tchau. Mitchell, get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! And Emma. Ah, então é. Marina, como é que vai? Trevig? Pronto, olá Emma. Bem-vindo ao mundo. E que sejas muito infeliz. Estou bem, estou bem. Ok. Está bem assim? O facto engraçado disto tudo é que parece uma peça de teatro, o pessoal entra e sai, mas não fica. Como é que acham que a Emma nasceu? Say what? Nuno, aprenda a jogar Rocket League. Uh, escandaloso. Isto não vai salvar merda. Hell no. Tem 57. Oh. O que é que foi? Acho que já tem blue para os pontapés. Yeah. Oh, que cara, corta esta cena. <risos>